your duties as my assistant. Start now. Interior, train, day. I didn't think to make you on the car. Position on the road to start and go on. Only start again. It takes more than wishing to become a great magician. Interior, train car, night. Zoe puts a hand against the window as snow falls steadily. Could you even think Fine. that I was? The fact of the matter is, no one wants to see a woman running the show. The world just isn't ready. But there are other ways of moving up. Ugh, oh, you're a monster. I'm a magician. <laughs> Could you work for me? You deserve congratulations, great Pierre's assistant. What a charm! On that train was a fever in itself. I don't owe you a thing. Wake up. You can take as a fact you'll be banished from this business if you so much as ask me even to get. Ooh, but that's not fair. I've worked really hard. Now shut your stupid lips, sweetie. Don't look so surprised. I will see you on stage. Good night. Zoe storms across the dance hall. Interior, housing quarters, night. Zoe walks into her room and sits down in front of her mirror. She wipes away her red lipstick with the back of her hand. In the corner of her room, she notices a poster for Pierre the Grand. She then whips out a pair of scissors, a needle, and thread and starts to cut into a black satin box box. Do things I'm missing. You do with them. They're all there, I swear. I promise you, revenge is dead. Don't you think three's a crowd? Wouldn't it be so convenient if just one of us would vanish in thin air? Get off my stage! Yeah. What a show! Your girl was fantastic! Jean-Robert Houdin, the father of modern magic, steps out from the wings. Keep it up! Yes! A magician competition! The young female apprentice versus the seasoned mentalist Marvel! Europe would just eat it up! Zoe takes her top hat and places it smack back on her head. She tips it forward and reaches her hand out. when you 